Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today I want to explain you what is hydroelectric power plant. But before I explain you, I want to introduce myself. My name is Muhammad Fadil Jamal, and now I'm graduate in State Polytechnic of Ujung Pandang, majoring in electrical engineering. Hydropower provides about 23% renewable energy research in Indonesia, and other research renewable energy include tidal power, solar power, geothermal, and so on. In hydroelectric power plant, have four main components: is dam, turbine generator and transmission and first i want to explain you what is dam okay dam raises the water level of the river to create falling water also controls the flow of water there's a fire that is formed is in effect stores energy okay that is the explanation of dam and the second explanation is turbine check it out Turbine, the force of falling water pushing against the turbine's blades causes the turbine to spin. A water turbine is much like a windmill, except the energy is provided by falling water instead of wind. The turbine converts the kinetic energy of falling water into mechanical energy. That is the explanation of turbine. That the third explanation is generator. Check it out. Okay, generator. Connected to the turbine by shaft and possibly gears, so when the turbine spins, it causes the generator to spin also. Converts the mechanical energy from the turbine into electric energy. Generators in hydropower plants work just like the generators in other types of power plants. I think the explanation generator is enough. Let's the last explanation is transmission slides. Check it out. Okay, transmission lines conduct electricity from the hydropower plants to homes and your business. Okay, so that's introduction of hydroelectric. And now, how hydropower works? Check this video. Nature, energy cannot be created or destroyed, but its form can change. In generating electricity, no new energy is created. Actually, one form of energy is converted to another form. To generate electricity, water must be in motion. This is a kinetic energy. When flowing water turns blood in a turbine, the forms is changed to mechanical energy. The turbine turns the generator water which then convert this mechanical energy into another energy form, electricity. Since water is the initial source of energy, we call this hydroelectric power or hydropower for short. At the facilities called hydroelectric power plants, hydropower is generated. Some power plants are located on the rivers, streams, and canals. But for reliable water supply, dams are needed. Dams store water for later release for such purpose as irrigation, domestic and industrial use, and power generation. The surfire acts much like a battery, storing water to be released as needed to generate power. The dam creates a head or head from which water flows, a pen stop carries water from the reservoir to the turbine. The first moving water pushes the turbine blades, something like a pinwheel in the wind. The water force on the turbine blades turns the rotor. The moving force of electric generator, when coils of wire on the rotor sweep past the generator, stationary coil or stator. Electricity is produced. This concept was discovered by Michael Faraday in 1831 when he found the electricity could be generated by rotation magnet within copper coils. When the water has completed its talks, it flows and changes to serve another needs. So that is simple explanation about hydroelectric power plant. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and share. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.